Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another plan with me to share with you for the week of September 26th through October 2nd of 2022. Phew, I got that out. Um, this is like take number six of actually trying to record this voiceover. It has been a struggle between, you know, rush hour traffic being rush hour traffic. My computer completely glitched at one point and I lost view of both of my screens as I was recording the voiceover. Which, that was fun. I'm shocked that my computer actually was still recording the voiceover at that point, but I'm gonna probably have to figure that one out later. And then, uh, just not being able to get my words out. So, <laughs> it is what it is, and we're just gonna jump right on into it. I used all of the date covers that came with the kit. All of the date dots are from Rose Colored Days, and then I staggered my full boxes and glitter headers like I usually do. If I didn't mention this already in this take, I did pull in a foil bundle that is mixed metal, gold, and silver, and pretty much all of the glitter header type boxes, or glitter header strips, and I think the full boxes, no, the full boxes are single foil, or at least the ones that I pulled in are single foil, and then all of the bougie boxes are alternating full gold and full silver which I was really worried about messing those up, but somehow the pattern still <laughs> magically worked out. Uh, please forgive the pun. Bad dad joke. Anyway, um, I do want to mention the kit name. I don't think I did that yet in this take. It is the Wisdom Kit from Scribble Prince Co. It is Ravenclaw themed, and while Harry Potter is very nostalgic for my childhood, I am really not a fan of JK Rowling. So I'm just going to put that out there. I feel like I need to make that disclaimer almost every time I used a, or every time I use a kit that's Harry Potter themed or Harry Potter adjacent, uh, one of JK Rowling's properties. I feel like I always have to make that disclaimer just because while it's nostalgic for me, uh, the statements that JK Rowling makes are very harmful and I don't agree with them. So I'm just going to put that out there and I'm going to keep going with the spread. So yeah, I alternated all of the bougie boxes, gold and silver. And yeah, um, I don't remember if this marble washi came with the kit. I think I may have pulled that from like, I have a stack of 15 millimeter washi strips from Scribble Prince Co. At one point she was just doing a sale for all of her extra 15 millimeter strips and I picked up a bunch of grab bags of those. So that might have been from one of those grab bags. But anyway, I did go ahead and move into my sidebar. The wash hair and bite guard scripts that I used in the habit trackers from the kit are from uh, Kinsey's Creations. Then I pulled in the extra piece of 15 millimeter washi and used the extra bow foil over that. Then I pulled in the first weekly ombre to track my steps for the week, and then the second weekly ombre I ended up cutting down so that I could make that into a checklist. Eventually I add boxes from Magic Prince Co. And I just, I haven't done that here quite yet. I'm just cutting down my washi because the inserts that I was using at the time had narrower spacing than like the typical Erin Condren spacing, which is what this kit was originally designed for. Anyway, what else did I miss? I think I missed the Hello October script. That is from Simply Beautiful Plans in gold foil. And then that September script is from Letters to Apollo. I just love the bow scripts from Letters to Apollo. They are stunning. Love those to pieces. So here I am just going ahead and adding all of my glitter header overlays. I'm not sure why I alternated these, but the top row is just all stars, and then the middle row is all bows, and the bottom row is back to all stars. I wonder if I just didn't have enough of one of those and had to pull in a second different glitter header overlay. I'm really not sure why I did that, but I do think it looks pretty, so I'm not mad at it. But yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit different compared to what I normally do. Now, what are we doing? At some point, I am going to add in all of the deco at the top. Oh, I'm going back to my sidebar and adding more glitter header overlays. And that's where I pull in all of the Magic Prince Co. boxes. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't make you guys sit through that and I just cut that. <laughs> Did that off camera. 
yeah, those are kind of, like, they're pretty easy to place, but it's just watching me use tweezers and put down a bunch of fiddly bits, and I really don't want to have to make you guys go through that. Um, but yeah, I did pull in water trackers. Those are all from Glam Planner. And then I did use the weekend banner that came with the kit. And then over the weekend banner, there was a uh, Scribble Prints Co. weekend banner foil that actually fit directly into that like white space of the weekend banner. I don't know if I'm explaining that very well. Hopefully you can see it okay on camera or you could see it okay on camera when I showed it on camera because I realize now we're well past that. But anyway, lots of foil this week. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the day by day. First thing that I marked on Monday was that it was a really bad allergy day. That's pretty typical for me in the fall. So just wanted to mark that. But I guess like Typical, yes, but it must have been pretty bad for me to mark it in my planner. Anyway, the sneezy emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co. Then I marked that it was trash day. The icon came with the kit. The script is from Planner just for you. On my way into work, I listened to my audiobook. The headphone icon is from SPC. Next, I pulled in a work label for work. And then I had volleyball that evening, so I pulled in a volleyball sticker from Magic Prince Co. to mark that. Moving on to Tuesday, I think I changed the spacing a little bit. Actually, maybe not. Okay, no, I do change the spacing. Anyway, I marked work with another label from the kit. And then I needed to do some laundry. The icon is from Magic Prince Co. The script is from Kinsey's Creations. Later that evening, Dave and I were watching Bleach. And I pulled in this couple sticker from Fox and Pip. After, you know, pulling up the sticker again and trying to fix the spacing. Um, yeah, we were watching Bleach, the anime, if, if you're not familiar. Um, yeah, sticker from Fox and Pip for that. And then for dinner that evening, I had spicy ramen and that cat sticker is from, I think the original shop name was Echo Hui Craft Co. And I think they changed to Paper Echoes and I don't know if they're open any longer because it's been so long since I've purchased anything from them. It's really been quite a while since I've purchased anything other than monthly kits for my planner because I just, I have so many kits and so many other stickers to use. Anyway, I digress and I'm behind now. I had spicy ramen on Tuesday night. Moving on to Wednesday. I, it was payday that day. So I pulled in an icon from the kit and payday script from the foil bundle. I listened to my audiobook on my way into work. The icon is from SPC. I went to work, the label is from the kit, and then we watched more Bleach. Again, that couple sticker is from Fox and Pip, and then I was feeling real sleepy. So I pulled in this, is it bedtime yet, Bidu? Is that what that character's name is? I think it's Bidu. Um, and that is from Oh Hello Michelle. On Thursday morning, I listened to my audiobook first thing again. I really like doing that when I'm on my way into work, because while it's not a super long drive, it is really pleasant to listen to something on the way. I also needed to make a run to get some gas on my way into work. The gas pump icon is from Magic Prince Co. And then I made a Starbucks run. The coffee cup is from the Crafty Banana. The script is from SPC. And then I marked work with another label. That night, again, we were watching Bleach. I think we were catching Dave up on Bleach because Thousand Year Blood War was going to come out. So we were catching Dave up on the rest of the bleach anime that came before that. But anyway, the couple sticker is from Fox and Pip. And then we had some McDonald's. The icon is from Magic Prince Co. The script is from Ice Cream Joe. On Friday, I marked work with another label from the kit. Then I did some laundry. Icon from Magic Prince Co. Script from Kinsey's Creations. We had Red Lobster that evening. I'm pretty sure we had that delivered. I don't think we went out. And the icon is from the Coffee Monsters Co. Really struggled to get that label straight, but you know, whatever. Um, that evening we watched some more Bleach. Again, the couple icon is from Fox and Pip. And then I snuggled my Maple Girl. The Maple sticker is from uh, LME Creations. And the Snuggle Maple script is a custom from Kinsey's Creations. On Saturday, I was dealing with some insomnia, so I used this, like, slightly crazed-looking emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that, along with an insomnia script from Kinsey's Creations. I snuggled my Maisie Girl. The dog sticker is from LME Co., and the script is a custom from Kinsey's Creations, who is no longer open. I did end up taking a nap that day, 
It's been so long since I've had a nap, and I really wish I could take naps, but I really struggle to do that anymore. Anyway, the bed sticker is from Magic Prince Co., the script is from Ice Cream Joe, and then we watched Hocus Pocus 2, the book icon is from Glam Planner, I'm pretty sure. I snuggled my kitty cat, the cat sticker is from the Sticky Committee, the script is from Kinsey's Creations, we watched the U of M game, they were at Iowa that day. I don't even remember the score, so I couldn't, I couldn't even tell you if we won or lost. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but anyway, the football sticker is from Fox and Pip. And then we were watching My Hero Academia Season 6. The Aizawa sticker is from Jalen Paperco. On Sunday, I snuggled Maisie again. Sticker from LME Co. Script from Kinsey's Creations. We watched some more Bleach. The TV icon is from Magic Prince Co. Then we had Omelet and Waffle Cafe delivered for brunch. The brunch emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co. for that. And then I needed to add the top coat to the nightstands that I was working on. Those were, I think, finally done that day. And then I just pulled in one of the, like, paper, bow paper clip icons that came with the kit, I'm pretty sure. We also went to the Plymouth Orchard that day, so I pulled in this Apple emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. for that. We ran to Home Depot, the cart stickers from the kit, and then I did some more laundry. Icon from Magic Prince Co., script from Kinsey's Creations. So I'm just putting my page back into my planner, doing a little wiggle to show off all of the gorgeous foil, very foily this week. That is everything that I had left in this mini kit. I hope you enjoyed this spread, and I will see you very soon, hopefully, in my next one. Take care, everyone.